Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the pixellab.net. Well, it's about our three year anniversary at the Pixel Lab. So I wanted to give you something special as a gift uh, for all of your support. And I created the Pixel Lab handheld camera pack, which is 10 free drag and drop handheld camera moves. Uh, and this is good for Maxon, Cinema 4D or After Effects. So uh, when you open it up, you'll have 10 different camera moves that you can just copy and paste into your scene and it's gonna give you a lot of really cool animation. So the, the reason I don't do this with just a, a wiggle expression is it looks pretty mechanical still and pretty computer generated. So what I did was I took a DSLR and I just shot my desk and did some kind of standard handheld motion. And then I used the 3D camera tracker in After Effects. And if you do that, it'll generate a bunch of points. And all you have to do is select some points and then right click and you create a null and a camera, which I've already done. So all you need to do is pick one of these camera moves. There's 10 different ones and they're all uh, fairly different. So you have a lot of options. So when you open those up, you'll just have a nice handheld camera move. All you have to do is copy that, go to the scene you want to put it in and paste it. Now, it, when you put it in, depending on your scene and where you want it to be pointing at, it's going to be a little bit offset. It's a really easy fix. All you have to do is add a null object. Make sure you make your null object 3D, and then you pick whip your camera to that null. So you can't actually move the camera because it's got all these big keyframes. But now that we pick whipped it to the null, we can drive the camera with this null. So it's really easy. You just rotate it, and then we'll hit P for position. You can just kind of slide your scene around until you get it centered up where you want it, and then you should be good to go. So put it somewhere like this, and we'll do a grand preview. And there you go, super quick, just drag and drop, and you have a really cool handheld camera look. It's gonna make it feel a lot more realistic. Um, let's see here, just remember that you have to move the null instead of the camera. So if we don't like this spot, all we have to do is uh, make a keyframe with position on the null, you know, slide it down, move the null, and then you're going to be able to point the camera exactly where you want it at all points. So like here, it slides off screen a little bit. Just make another keyframe, move it down, put it back in the center, and you'll have that handheld camera look, but it'll still be centered up. Another thing we could do is if we have uh, this poster over here on the brick wall. So let's go ahead and center this one up. And then at this point in the animation, we want to slide it over to the other one. What we could also do is pull it out in Z-Space a bit, and then we'll pause there for a second, and then we'll dive into it. So I just want to show you that it's really easy to animate and uh, modify this, but you'll still retain that handheld camera look. So let's check this out. So now you can see that we've got a really cool animation here, really easy to modify. Um, one other thing I want to show you is that if we go ahead and add a adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer, let's go ahead and add a camera lens blur. Make sure you repeat the edge pixels. So whenever there's a camera move, one thing I like to do is go ahead and add a keyframe for the blur. And we'll go ahead and increase the blur to five pixels. And then we'll have it zoom in and we'll leave it for a little bit here at five. And then we'll resolve the blur back to in focus. And another thing you can do is even go past focus so that it looks like it's in focus and then it goes out of focus and then we'll pause that for a second and then go back into focus. So that's just a really quick way to make it look like the cameraman is really struggling to find focus uh, when he's doing a zoom in and that actually adds a lot to make it look even more realistic. So that's just a, a quick tip for you. So that's it um, for the After Effects side. If you have any questions, let me know, but it should be pretty easy to just drag and drop and get some quick animation. So let's jump into the Cinema 4D side. So let me go ahead and throw something in the scene. I got all these free logos from iDesign.com. They got a really cool pack for you there if you want to check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and open up one of our camera moves. Um, let's throw in number one. All we have to do is copy and paste this into our scene with the logo and then check on the camera. And this is going to put it in the scene. Now you can see that like before, it's a little bit Actually, this one seems to come in pretty centered. Some of them are going to be off centered. And what you need to do is go to the camera for view and just use this for view uh, to reposition the camera so that it's pointing at what you want it to point at. And just like in After Effects, make sure you do not click on the camera and move that. That will not work, but use the null that it's nested in. So you can see that we just move this null around and you can see in the four camera views, it's really easy to, to just move it around and point it where you want it to, right? So let's go ahead and hit play and we'll see what's going on.
So you can see that we've got a nice handheld animation of the logo right here. So let's go ahead and add another camera. I would just experiment with this. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this into our scene again and make sure you turn on the camera and scrub through it and just kind of see what's going on. Looks like we need to go to our four view and we need to reposition that camera a little bit. So we'll go ahead and slide it in, move it up and looks like that will do. So you pretty much just need to position it where you want it. And then if you need to do any supplemental uh, animation, you can animate that and all. So should be super easy for you to do. Um, some of these camera moves get a little bit jittery in Cinema 40 for some reason, um, but you can play around with that and hopefully find one that works for you. All right, guys, that's it for the Pixel Eye handheld camera pack. Thanks for supporting our site all these years. I really appreciate it. And I would appreciate it if you would uh, spread the word about this pack on Twitter or Facebook. That would really help us out. Thanks, guys, for all your support, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.